back, everyone. Gary Lazaroff and Rafael Gatica. He's taking over for Jonathan this match. Gustavo's taking a repast, so it's the tandem of myself and Rafa. About to watch ladies doubles, one of two semifinals. Team Chile, Mancilla and Munoz versus Team USA. York and Ross. Naomi Ross from Texas. York living now in Minnesota. Uh, Carla Munoz, I believe, has moved back to uh, Santiago de Chile. And Mancia Temuco, the racquetball hotbed of Chile. Congratulations to Chile. Congratulations to Canada. Two finalists in the men's side, singles and doubles. Tuki Kravitz from Mexico is going through the sorteo. The winning team has a chance to serve if they want or not. So Team USA won the toss. They'll serve. Chile will serve second and fourth sets if it goes that far. USA will serve the third. Beautiful Guatemala City, the capital of Guatemala, about a million people. This is day five of the tournament, day five of our broadcast. Pan Am Sports Channel and IRF networks. Ross serving left side. <laughs> Tries to drive it up the middle and jam the opponents. Into, not, not successful on that one. Congratulations, Carla. She'll play in the final against Vargas from Argentina tomorrow in the singles. Point, Team USA, 1-0. Rally scoring best of five, 11 points, win by two. Oh, nice. Munoz left side, Chile tracked that ball all the way to the sidewall vidrio and rolled it out. 1-1, one, one, game one. Munoz will serve first. Fault serve, unlike US rules. Team has to buy by that service order for the entire game. They can change in this next game. They need to inform the head official they're doing so. Errant forehand splat attempt by York. Munoz serving. 2-1. That's called a misdirect. Miss hit. No harm, no foul. First serve again. Munoz serving. Ball called down. Munoz tried to nick that ball against the left side wall and was unsuccessful. Ross able to take it out of the air and roll it, 2-2. Two -two. Hand out. Ball live. Skipped it in, gift for Chile. Side out and point for the receiving team, now the serving team. Tres dos, primer set. Dobles femeniles. Safety hold up, replay, first serve. No harm, no foul, first serve. Three, three two. Great serve, that dry Z right side. Roll it out, statement forehand by York right side, Team USA. Coming in to serve, Naomi. 3-3. Three, three. This time she goes with the drive Z. Ball skipped. We'll see if there's an appeal. 
The answer is no. Two available usable appeals each game for both teams. Ball down, hand out, point receiving team. Four serving four, game one. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. On the IRF and Pan Am networks. Our sponsors, Gearbox, Splathead.com, Sports Corp, Sidewall, Front Wall, Combo Winner. Munoz now serving Chile. <laughs> One point lead for Team Chile, 5 4. Jam. Return to serve, rolled it out right side, 5 5. Reverse. Up top, York. Rolls it out nonchalantly. Calm and collected, Lexi York, 26 years old, lives in Minnesota. Her partner still has three years, maybe four, of junior play left. That ball hit Monsija on the right side, Point USA. Speaking of juniors, we'll have the IRF annual junior racquetball championships here in Guatemala. Second week of December. Short. We'll be in Chicago area for the World Seniors end of July. And we'll be in San Antonio for the biannual World Championships in August. The timeout, Chile, as Team USA forges ahead. Let's watch the last rally here, Rafa. We'll go to a commercial. We'll be back in a minute. Gary with Rafa. Team USA has forged ahead. They have a three point lead in game one. Ladies doubles, semifinal. 8 5. Monsija. Everybody getting into this play here. Equal opportunity employer. Until Ross left side. Puts it away with the backhand. Game point number one for Team USA. This is the fourth of six transmissions today. We'll have two more. Men's doubles and mixed doubles. Short. I stand corrected, it's 9-5, it's not game point. Munoz takes it off the short hop. See a wide angle, Ross. Ball live, errant return into the kidney of Munoz. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna say no harm, but I'll say no foul. Replay, first serve. Oh, nice, deep crack, ace. Now it's game point number one, Ross serving. And here in the background, Tuki Kravitz calling the score. He's assisted by Lilo Aguilar here. Same serve. 
Return, put away. Tom Travers racquetball. Let's watch that last put away, Rafa. Serve, return, put away here. And we'll go to a commercial break. We'll be back in two minutes. Thank you, folks. My name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox has felt, and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Game two, ladies doubles, semifinal. Team Chile serving to Team USA. USA won the first set, 11 to five. Nick Lobb, Munoz, Chile. Ross, deep left. Monsija. York, everybody in the fold. Wide angle winner. Nobody home. Deep court. Chile. 1 0, USA. Ross serving. So she came up the middle to handcuff. One of the Chileans, Munoz was right on that. Reverse. Ball live up front. Near side pinch with the backhand, Ross winner. Two points to one in favor of the USA in the second set. The winner here will play for the goal tomorrow against uh, opponent yet to be determined. Ball live, not anymore. So that ball hit close to the demarcation, the red line. The ball has to clear, it has to be higher than the line, which usually would mean the ball leaves the court. 2-2, two -two, game two. Short serve, two serves in racquetball. A fault serve, a short serve is a fault serve. It has to clear the midline, which is called the short line on the serve. High lob. Wide angle. Ball live. Great get, Munoz behind her back. And the non-literal term is a wallpaper ball whiffed by Team USA. So it's a point. Chile now ahead, 3-2. Tres dos, segundo set. Lobo, Nick. Safety hold up. 
avoidable hinder called against Chile. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's watch the replay. I thought there was a hold up and he honored the replay, but it hit York. So it depends if he, if he made the call first before it hit her. If he did, it should be a replay. Because once, once. Correcto. But if, if, if Tukey stopped play with a call first before it hit her, then the true call should be a replay. Because any time he speaks, it nullifies any action that happens afterward. We'll see what the uh, replay is. The VAR video assist replay. Tukey is being assisted by Leo. We have the replay, folks. Watch. So the result of the appeal... calling a hinder replay no point awarded still Chile serving 3-2 no appeal used there's the nick skip ball 4-2 game two Ceiling changes five times, six. Patient racquetball, folks. More geared to 1970s play. Want to thank our ball and racket sponsor, Gearbox. Garment sponsor, Splathead. And racquetball administration organization sponsor, Sports Corp out of Colorado Springs. Empate cuatro iguales, segundo set, 4-4. Four, four. You can hear in the background, Senor Kravitz calling short serve, second serve. High Z lob, straight half lob. She got what she wanted, weak return. Unfortunately, her partner, York, on the right side skipped in the forehand. Hand out, point scored for the receiving team. So, Monsija whiffed the ball. However, York was in a predicament position-wise and got struck by it. And we mentioned earlier in paddle ball that would have been a point for U.S. because <laughs> regardless if it didn't take its second bounce, nobody was going to get to it. So Carla puts it away. And now Chile has taken over the lead. Let's watch the last rally, Rafa. We have a timeout on the floor by the U.S. team. So we'll be back in one minute. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. 
think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. Back live, Gary Mazarov, Rafa Gatica, Gustavo's taking a repast, as is Johnny. And we're at Court Central here in Guatemala City. Team USA won the first set. Chile leads in the second set, 7-4. We'll have two more feeds after this, men's doubles and mixed. Pure. Not sure what she's appealing other than disturbancia, disturbancia from her opponent. We'll ask Tuki to explain what the uh, appeal is. Tuki? Oh, contacto. Okay. So Carla is explaining to Tuki there was, there was contact in her attempt to get to that shot that was called down. On the review, Tukey says, does not matter or did not. Then Chile will lose one of their two available appeals for this game. And the USA will have a handout and a point score. So in the video assist review, the referee, he or she, reviews the previous rally and determines whether the call stands or it's overturned or we have a replay. Nada cambiado. Call stands. So it should be 5 7 or 7 5. And a handout. Reverse. Oh my. That stuff happens. Just play ball. Sometimes we miss hit the ball. Certainly don't want to hit the other opponent. So the call is, I believe, a replay, first serve. No, he called avoidable. So that was called uh, la llamada bloqueo evitable en favor de los Estados Unidos. Punto Estados Unidos. Marcadores seis siete. So that's a double whammy against Team Chile. She gets ripped with the ball and they lose the triple whammy. They lose the serve and their opponents score a point. The nuances of the game, folks. Nice. Short hop, side wall, front wall combo by Munoz. Chile stops the proverbial bleeding, if you will. York serving, 6-8. Up top, Munoz left side, puts it away. She'll be playing in this ladies singles final tomorrow against Vargas from Argentina and hopes to double up by playing against to whomever in doubles. High lob, wide angle. Yeah. 
Ross left side. <laughs> Naomi wasn't able to negotiate a return. So she's claiming she was uh, visually hindered. Quite frankly, from our perspective, it was her own fault because she was out of position. However, she can appeal it. We'll see what happens. So the call is point chilly. There's an appeal that it should be a replay because of the visual hinder. This call should be a slam dunk, but strange things do happen. Kravitz is reviewing. You can see the replay there. Let's see it again, Rafa. Last point. So Ross hits it. La Copa Suya. Point awarded, 10-6. Game point number one for Chile. Ball exploded in front of Mancia. Handcuff, if you will. Esposada, the term used by our buddy from Argentina, Macrino. Great return to serve. U.S. has staved off two game points. Once again, it's rally scoring first to 11. Team USA needs to get two more points in Seguida to force overtime. Timeout, Team Chile. Let's watch the last rally, please. And we'll be back in one minute. Live, Gary with Rafa. We're here. Ladies doubles, one semifinal. USA versus Chile. USA leads in sets 1-0. Chile trying to force or tie it up at one. They've had two game points uh, for which they have not cashed in thus far. This is game point number three on behalf of Chile. It's 8-10. Wide angle. Okay, we have the scoreboard incorrect. It's no, we do. It's correct. It's 9-10. Three straight points for game warded off. Rally ending shot by York into the floor. Chili's tied it up. Let's watch the last rally. So we'll, we'll take a break and come back in two minutes on the IRF and Pan Am Sports Networks.
Estoy la salida doble con doble. Claro, sí, que la salida. And we're back live here, Court Central. Gary now with Johnny. Gustavo's taking a repast. He'll return to favor after this match. Men's doubles, Mexico, Costa Rica. And then we'll finish today with the mixed doubles. We're tied at one in sets, USA serves. Wide angle, skip ball. So the last few points of the second set, and that point, Munoz taking over and poaching, taking some of uh, what were shots for Monsija. Ball live, pinch winner. Great start for Team Chile, 2-0. Ross, ball skip. It's not the start to game three Coach Fajare wanted. It is for Coach Natara from Chile. Munoz. Ross. Loose drive serve. Ross was right on that one. Rolled it out. So it's a handout and a point for the receiving team. Straight drive. So her poaching that time cost her. Her being Munoz. 2-3, game three. This hit. It's a golf shot off the toe. Here we go. 2 4. Skip ball. Speaking of golf, Ross wants a mulligan. Not, not entitled to one. Chile earns the serve 5 2. Went for the short crack, which is an area on the glass inside the safety zone. Miss hit it. Short serve, second serve. High lob. Great fly kill by Ross, USA. Two point deficit in favor of the serving team, 5-3. On Cesia, straight drive right. Ceiling, ceiling. So what's happening is, I, in this announcer's opinion, Mancia is not sure when her partner's gonna come over and take shots, so it's getting into her head and it's costing her. Four, five. Safety hold up, avoidable hinder. From our perspective. Yeah. 
So the call is replay. The appeal is for an avoidable hinder. Certainly comes under the elements for an avoidable. It's called a bloqueo. Failure to move, predicated by that serve to the right side. Ross decided to hit that reverse to the right. Didn't allow her partner to get out of the service box. That's where communication comes in. If York knew that were coming, she could get out sooner and give the path that she needed to give. In this case, it's avoidable point receiving team handout. And the fact that she says she jumped has no bearing on the call. So it's 4-6. Short ball called, fault serve second. Replay ball was up on that wide angle, shot by Munoz. Great shot, however the ball was up. First serve now, dead ball hinder, nullifies the previous fault serve. Skip ball, Munoz, excuse me, Mancia. Point USA, 5-6. We're tied at one in sets, one of the two Semi-finals, ladies doubles. Great touch, Munoz. Just to show you how far Moncia has improved her game over the last couple years. When these two played doubles a couple few years ago, Carla was taking 95% of the shots and they played the I formation, not anymore. Nice. Good communication, Team USA. Ross puts it away with the forehand from the middle of the court. 7-6, Chile by one. Same serve. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Carla's appealing a screen ball. Remember, screen cannot be in the favor of, a <laughs> of the server or serving team. There's no way she didn't see who she was right out on that. Appeal for a skip, I mean a screen. Appeal for a screen. Uh, from our vantage point, that's a wasted appeal. Now, if she appealed that the ball were short, we can understand it. If for some, I would say no way, but little way that Tuki is going to overrule himself. Let's watch that last rally, Rafa, or Johnny. Time out on the court by Chile. You can see <laughs> visual path for York. No way it's going to be a screen. Wasted. We'll, we'll stay here. Wasted appeal by Team Chile. I'm surprised not to uh, allow that to happen. On the other hand, I don't see him in the gallery. He may not be here at courtside. So when we resume play, we have an empate siete. Iguales, 7-7 seven, seven. on the show court, Court Central here in Guatemala at the beautiful Complejo Polidomo de Racquetball. This is the fifth of eight 
days in the tournament. Tomorrow we'll have the finals, and then we'll begin late afternoon with the second part of the tournament called the team play to be completed on Friday and Saturday. Ross, USA serving. We have a tie at seven. Drive Z coming, looks like. No, she goes with the jam and handcuff Matsia. Good choice. Good choice of serves coming from Fahre. Skip ball. A gift, regalo for Team Chile. Hand out and point for the receiving team, 7-8. Carla deep, Ross deep, Mancia. What will hinder called? Point USA, we're tied again at eight. Failure to move. Great pass right side by Mancia. Side out, Chile coming in to serve, 9-8. Racquetball on the world stage, Gary Mazaroff with El Senor Villatoro. You can hear in the background, Tuki Kravitz, our arbitro principal, called it short second serve. Half lob. Ball live. Nope. Ball died back right corner. Much to the chagrin of Ross. Didn't get there. Game point number one for Chile in game three. Munoz serving. Ten seconds to serve once the score's called. Short. And ten, up to ten seconds to be ready to receive the serve. Receiving team cannot cause a delay on behalf of the serving team. High Z lob. York right side. Wide angle. Ball stayed up, but neither Chilean lady was able to return it. So U.S. staves off a game point. Game point number two for Chile here in game three. Reverse, great serve. Ball up. Flat winner by Munoz. Chile wins 11-9. When we return in two minutes, it'll be Chile two games to one over Team USA.
Así la salida es doble por dos. Ya recibe que está la salida. Ahí está. We're back live, Gary with Jonathan, here at Court Central in Guatemala City, the capital of Guatemala. 35th edition of the Pan Am Racquetball Championships. First one, 1987 in Caracas in Venezuela. Team Chile serving, they enjoy a 2-1 lead in sets. They lost the first 11-5 and won the last two 11-9. Here we go, Munoz, Chile serving. That was a great serve, better return. Deep crack into the glass. Ross had the wherewithal to snap a backhand kill winner. So USA has changed positions on the serve here. So the arm went up, honored by Tuki Kravitz. First serve again, 1-0. Ross now serving right side. Picking on the right side player here. Reverse. Enough said from Monsija. She rolls that ball into the left corner. Hand out, point for Chile, one, two, uh, two, one. Ball live. York, Munoz, Ross, no. So York put her hand up wanting a hinder. No hinder called. And it looked like the ball rolled out, but he called a skip. So if the... Hinder. So the appeal is for a hinder, I believe. I think he awarded a point to Chile and a side out. There was convergence. Let's see what the result of the, so hinder call. No side out, no point for Chile. Replay, first serve. Remember, once the rally starts, which is a legal return from the receiving end. It, a dead ball hander nullifies a previous fault serve. So here we go. No harm done, Chile comes in to serve now. Yeah, empate, dos iguales. York read that reverse by Munoz, but put it in the floor. One point lead for Chile. Thank you to our viewing audience. Racquetball on the world stage, literally our audience comes from all over the world on the Pan Am and IRF networks. Great serve. Handcuffed Ross left side. More pressure on Team USA here. Munoz taking over, ball live, Munoz right side now. Puts it away, don't argue with success, it's working right now. 
Team USA calls a timeout. Let's watch the last rally, Jonathan. We'll stay here. So you're on the IRF and uh, Pan Am Sports Channel networks, folks. Thank you for tuning in. I want to thank the local organizing committee spearheaded by Dr. Estuardo Ware, the new park, as Gustavo told you, Pan Am Racquetball Confederation president. Took over for Marcella, Marcelo. His wife is Marcella Gomez from Costa Rica, who served an eight-year term. So if things go according to Hoyle, 2000. 32, Estuardo will retire. Both teams coming back on the court. We're in game four. Chile leads two games to one, and they enjoy a 5-2 lead. Tuki Kravitz is our head official, assisted by Lilo Aguilar. Munoz serving. called an empty timeout from USA. They lose their timeout op option here and another point for the serving team, 6-2. So forcing serves, power serves to the deep left, getting weak returns. Forehand by York, not returned by Chile, point USA and handout. Reverse, Ross deep left. Nice side wall, front wall, two bounces quickly. That's called a splat, S-A-P-L-A-T, advanced shot. Four racquetball, Ross now serving right side again. Reverse to Mancia and it worked. Two points in a row for Team USA, climbing back a tad. So one point spread for the receiving team, five, six. Wrap around, good return. Ross tries to end the rally from deep court and is not successful. Point receiving team, 5-7. Play stop by Kravitz. Goes back to first serve. 5-7 again. So now she can go, she moved inside that drive serve line. She could go right if she wanted to. Wow, that's a great serve. It's called a jam into the middle. Carla left side could not catch up to it. And Moncia had no opportunity. Six, seven, see if she does it again, she does. That ball hit her partner who's legally situated in the doubles box. Fault serve, second. Half lob with a Z. It's just what Moncia was trying to do. Hit a cross court that cracked Chuka at the back left corner. Point, Chile and serve earned. 8-6, game four. Comes back, that beautiful, beautiful Forcing shot. Wrap around. Good for her. Taking it early, York. Good cover, York. Munoz goes cross court. Two points. Earning a berth in one of the two uh, one of the two teams to earn a berth in the final for ladies doubles. 
which would ace Team USA out, ladies and men. They would have one chance in doubles. I should say mixed doubles. Nick Lobb off the back, wide angle. Oh my, Carla, one of her few unforced errors, skips it in. Opening Team USA, 9-7. Critical return of serve here for USA. Critical. And guess what, folks? On that loose serve by Mancia, York cashes in. So one point deficit, Team USA serving Ross right side, 8 9. First to 11, win by two. We've yet to go overtime this match. Great serve. Better return. Wow. Monsija. Hand out match point number one for Chile as the receiving team. Set up up front, York. Puts it away. That's a statement forehand. Nine ten. Will there be overtime or will Chile win here? That's the question. Ball up top. Munoz skips it in, folks. <laughs> they cannot buy a mulligan. Now we go first to twelve, Johnny. Here's Johnny. Fault serve, hit her opponent in the box. Half Z lob right side. Straight up, straight down by Monsija. U.S. game point number one. Chile calls a timeout. We'll break and come back in two minutes. One minute. and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved. There's a lot on the line here, Johnny, at Court Central. U.S. staved off two match points. Now they have a game point in game four. Overtime. Unfortunate for York. She wasn't ready for that return of serve. She got handcuffed. Great timeout for Chile. So now we're at empate. Once Iguales, first to 13th. Munoz. Ooh. Chile, third match point now. Timeout is a great resource. It certainly helped Chile. Rack it up from York. Got to put it down. It's a great return to serve. York. Munoz up top. Ross. Wow. 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 Another empate.
12 iguales. Sirviendo Chile. Repite, first serve. So USA stayed off another match point. That was number three. First serve, 12-12. sure what the discussion is. From our perspective, it's first serve, 12-12. So the call, <laughs> the appeal is that USA affected an avoidable hinder and failure to move Deep court as Monsejo was elevating her racket to hit the ball, but she left, let it go. And from our perspective, didn't have an opportunity to return it. However, both teams have two dos apelaciones disponibles available. And the call is. So the call is repeat. I'm not sure what U.S. is asking. Maybe they want to appeal that the ball were down and it should be their point. So Chile lost their appeal. They have one left. I believe the U.S. is appealing that the ball was down. They're appealing no hinder. So if Tuki reverses his call and says it was not a hinder, point would be awarded to Team USA, at which time they would have a one-point lead. The nuances of the game, folks, understanding the rules, applying them appropriately, not rushing to a decision, and being as professional as possible. Go on to the IRF website, internationalracquetball.com, and print out a set that you can keep for perpetuity. So USA lost their appeal. It remains 12-12, Monsesia serving. Dynamics of the match, reverse, York, Ross, Monsesia, ball, ball skipped. So USA now has another game point. If they cash in, it'll go to a fifth set. Ross serving, drive, jam, hit Ross, excuse me, Ross hit York, who was legally situated in the doubles box, so it's a fault, second serve. She'll go with the controlled Z lob left uh, right side now. There it is, folks. Team USA will watch the last point. USA forces a fifth game. Great serve, weak return put away. Nobody home. Vamos a regresar en dos minutos, señor Johnny.
ocho señales en vivo y en simultáneo ¿sí? solo por Panam Sport Channel. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete. Obviously talent.